And today in the studio we have DIY Rye. I'm gonna leave him to it. it smells really nasty. Good morning everybody. Today it is Monday. This week is meant to be heatwave week in the UK, which I feel like for a lot of people, hang on, let me close my window. I feel like for a lot of people, if you live in warm countries, you're probably like, Ugh. but I live in the UK. We don't get warm weather very often. This summer has been quite nice though. I don't know if it's just we're all at home noticing it. Normally I'm traveling and I miss the heat waves. I'm always away when there's a heat wave. So I feel like I've seen a lot of the warm weather this year, which has been really nice, but it is heat wave week. Like the weather is like going from 19 today, which is like, yeah. to I think like 27 later this week and I'm so excited because I love being warm. 27 is probably going to be pushing it for my like being able to function as a human being without aircon. I need to dig out the Dyson fan. I think it's somewhere in this somewhere in this house but because it is heatwave week I've decided to take the week off. <laughs> which for most people would mean like not working but for me taking the week off is like doing the work that I want to do and there's a lot of jobs that like aren't active right now so I can push them for the week and just not really think about them this week and just focus on the house and doing nice like bits of work that I really want to do and working on some cool things that are coming up that are just like my passion projects and just having a really chill week basically so I thought I would vlog and kind of bring you along with me so you can see what my week's of kind of look like but on my list today I have number one sort this out this is finally up I was meant to do this yesterday but I laid in bed until like midday and then the day kind of ran away with me but I need to finish putting the light bulbs on it I don't really use like the main light in the bedroom so that's how I've just been able to get away with like having zero light bulbs on it and not really worrying about it. I've got a lamp over there that gives like a nice warm glow. So I always use that instead, which is why I'm not particularly worried about having a light that has like 10 light bulbs on it. I'm not too worried about the electricity bill because I literally never turn that light on. I like things cozy. So the chandelier is more for display, but I need to finish putting the light bulbs on and then individually hang all of the crystals. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. But I am very excited for it to be up and finished. What else am I doing today? I need to repot my olive trees. I did a bit of gardening at the weekend, so I'll show you what I've been up to. I weeded a bit of my back garden and then my entire front garden. It was a lot, my legs are aching now. Gardening is just hard work. I don't particularly enjoy it. I'm not very green fingered and I've never been one of those people that looks at gardening and thinks that it's easy, like by any means, like there's a reason that I've never wanted to do it. And actually the house that I had a few years ago, I, it was quite a big garden and it was like really overgrown. So I just had a gardener and um, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. So I've been weeding front and back all weekend. That has literally been my weekend. That's how I spent it. A very gardeny weekend after the garden centre on Friday. If you haven't seen Monday's video, then definitely go and give that a watch. It's a get ready with me so you can see all the makeup that I've been using on my face and how I did my hair in the crimpy waves. And then I also brought you along for a little bit of my day as well. So if you want to get ready to go to the garden centre with me, that video. But yeah, that is what we are doing today, this week. Don't even know how long I'm going to vlog for. We'll see. this week it's a little bit nicer out here than it was the last time you saw it i've got a giant rose over there it's so cute i've just moved my olive trees to the middle of the garden because i'm not sure they're getting enough sun where i put them i think i'm eventually gonna have them back here but i'm just waiting for some kind of something to be here that's not like uneven gravel so yeah but yeah brian has been spray painting this west elm mirror that i used to have or well that i do have but it's not going so well the spray paint isn't really covering particularly well so i think we're gonna get some matte black paint and maybe get some other bits for the garden so yeah finish a call hence why i'm whispering so that we can go to b and q and i thought i would work on my gardening book which you guys will have just seen because my brain is like a sieve i decided to put together this little kind of scrapbook with pics of the plants that i'm kind of like trying to keep alive and their directions basically and i thought i'd decorate it with 
this little polo on the front because it's cute yeah i can't wait to put my lemon tree in the book once it arrives hopefully this week i know exactly where i want to plant it i just need to figure out how i do that because i'm a small human and i don't know how to plant a tree my olive trees look like they're doing all right i just wanted to give them a bit more sun so i've popped them there and i'm gonna give them a water and then we also have this is my little grape tree if you didn't see it in the other vlog it's growing little grapes are you little grapes i hope they're little grapes basically what i'm gonna do hopefully this week i'm gonna try and paint this wall and i'm hoping that once i've painted the wall obviously i'll move this away but once i move it back i'm hoping it will start to climb the wall i think that would look so great and i'd love to one day build like either a barbecue or pizza oven in here and then we also have my fig tree which i am aware <laughs> that these apparently grow to be ginormous i think that's kind of cool and i'll just like put it in a huge pot in the end and hopefully put it up the back in the back corner once there's decking there i think this would look quite cool up there if it got really really big and i'm really happy with the little pots as well these are actually just like left up the back of my garden there's like a bit round there and um yeah there's loads of pots and these were kind of ones that i was almost looking at anyway like i think i would have gone for something terracotta colored so yeah i'm really really happy with those thank you to the previous owners because they've saved me like 30 quid ignore the fact that i haven't made my bed after standing on it it actually looks really nice in the background of my outfit pictures i just took one for my insta story and i really like it it's actually so much nicer than seeing one random white light bulb kind of dangling down very cute pain in the ass for what it was and how much it cost basically it didn't come with a hook that goes into the ceiling so we've had to have a beam and wind it around the beam and it's all like i'm praying it doesn't fall down on me in my sleep but there's a support beam up there for anyone that's concerned yeah it's just a pain in the ass having to hang all of these and these also are like actually it doesn't show up on camera but they're like a yellowy color which obviously it didn't show up on camera so it didn't show up in the pictures on the website which is very annoying but looks really nice as well when you turn the light on so nice and actually not ridiculously bright which it was without the crystals obviously it's now time to go to being cute wild day out with susie and ryan an afternoon ryan and i keep collectively between the two of us keep breaking things my lunch went wrong i think it's just gonna be one of those days it's not good the amount of things i've had smashed today is a lot that's an over exaggeration but two more than i would have liked to have heard but i have lunch finally i never i never ever and i stressed that ever I don't think in the past, like in my whole adult life of having lived away from home, I've never, and actually even, <laughs> get to the point Susie, even in my whole life, I actually don't think I've ever botched Egg and Soldiers, but I did. And I'm not actually convinced that I've done the best job now. Like, are they going to be oozy? Oh, actually no, they might be. They might be okay. But yeah, I never botched them and I did today and it really, really ticked me off. Anyway, having my lunch, I've got Gilmore Girls on. Ryan's going to go do some work and then we bought a barbecue. So we're gonna have a fun evening. And I'm looking forward to it. Should we go for a run later? Prepare for the amount. Oh, okay, you'll put the barbecue together. I'll go for a run. Mm, Ryan's not looking possibly. too happy about the run. I don't know. Actually, it might be up for it. I feel like I need to prepare for the amount of food that we might end up eating. He doesn't let it happy. <laughs> Just okay. run for one then. Run for I one. I don't know. I do want to, but I'm not gonna. 
confirm his little face. or deny. <laughs> so yeah, that is the kind of afternoon we're having, so I'm just gonna like chill and I'll be back. Tonight's instalment of Chef Ryan. We are barbecuing. I'm scared. And now we wait and see if we can barbecue. <laughs> Let's hope we eat before 9 p.m. I thought I'd start my vlog before Ryan starts with the blender. I'm literally just making sure I'm not flashing because this bikini top is like the worst in the world. It's like just, yeah. Basically, I'm waiting for something to arrive so I can change and shoot in something. So I'm just in this for a little bit. But yeah, it's Tuesday. It is so gloriously sunny today. It's so nice. I managed to revive my olive trees yesterday. So I'm very, very happy about that. And look what arrived ignore my bin bags <laughs> i'm so excited look 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 at that actual fruitage i don't know if they're gonna be any good but i'm so excited it comes with a little tag on it that said limon and i loved it and i'm so excited for these to hopefully grow really big if we have a nice warm summer and then I think around like October, November is when you can harvest them, basically when they're big and yellow. I'm so excited. This is my new child. And it cost a whole £95, which I think is a bargain for something that will feed me and help me make my G&Ts and my lemon drizzle cakes. And what else do I put lemon in? Oh, my lemon pancakes. Oh my God. You guys know I just love lemon and sugar and things. So this is like my dream tree to have in my garden and it's just perfectly adding to the vibe that i wanted this garden to have so yeah i'm really excited also um, my video from the garden center went up last night and i thought i would take a moment in this vlog to say don't worry about the grapevines i know they grow really quickly i want it to grow really quickly and i will spend the rest of my life pruning it i'm well aware but that is the price that i'm paying because i really wanted a grape tree and i really wanted something to climb this wall here and i'm also not worried about nala eating the grapes one because she's about this big and this is very very tall but also she's never shown any interest in any tree or any fruit of any kind ever she's more likely to nick a bit of egg or cheese off your plate than anything else sorry i'm still checking my top yeah so nala will not be eating the grapes off the trees so do not worry jeff ryan is making smoothies what have we got today chef we've got a lovely concoction of frozen fruits banana Blueberries, got some curly beef kale, peanut butter, mm. some seeds, and almond milk. Mm. Lovely. I'm gonna stick some makeup on my face. I've got some new bits from Fenty. I've also got some new bits from Armani, but I need to check some things with that, so I'm gonna put those aside. But I'm so excited for my new Fenty bits. I think I actually have them. Thanks. You are literally the most annoying human. I'm very excited to have the hydrating foundation in a shade that might actually match my face. my long bits now officially make a bob how cute would this look once i'm allowed to see a hairdresser i think this might have to happen because this is such a cute length to have all of my hair cut to oh my god yeah i'm actually on board with this and then we'll just let it grow let it grow let it grow <laughs>
to ignore the mess I have made over here, but I'm just whipping up some dinner. I'm making some gnocchi and I have some vegetables, which I threw into this pot before I threw the gnocchi in. And then I've also got over here, this needs a bit more of a smush around. I've got some tomatoes and olives, which I threw in the pan first with some olive oil. And then I've also thrown in some basil. And then finally some mackerel as well, just because I worked out this morning so i just need to get a little bit of protein into my body sorry i'm like staring and not looking at the camera but yeah that's gonna be my dinner so nothing like too saucy very very light and fresh but mm, so yummy have my dinner have a shower i'm feeling really good and i thought i would talk you through this evening's skincare routine my skin is improving slowly we're just waiting for this one Oh, you're new. I'm sure it'll be gone tomorrow. That one doesn't look like it's going to stick around. But just waiting for this little one to go. And I feel like tomorrow it should be massively improved. Because it's been shrinking by the week, which is great. And my forehead is clearing up. So very, very happy about that. I have laid off the acids and retinols for this week. Because I feel like they're just not helping as much as i would like them to be right now i feel like what is going on on my face is slightly different to usual i'm not really sure but i was getting a lot of breakouts like here up here there were lots of people trying to diagnose me in my last video but i actually think it's just been like the remainders of some days where i've really overdone it on bad food so i'm officially like off any kind of chocolate now and things are looking good so what i've just been doing in the evening all the while like literally for about five days to a week now i've just been using this oil on my face i think this came in a caroline hirons kit that woman is like my god all of her recommendations are great and i am finding like i'm spending a lot more time massaging the oil into my skin sometimes if my skin's extra dry 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 i put a second lot on and just kind of massage it in and i'm just finding it is doing a lot of good for my skin so everything on my forehead is old now and it's just like clearing and i'm just trying not to pick anything so because i swear to god once you pick something which i did do to this the other day but something else pops up next to it so just don't touch things kids but yeah so i cleanse my skin with my clinique take the day off oil boskia renaissance cleansing gel and then i've gone in with this that there we go and then i've also i'm not going to do this tonight because i don't feel like any of my blemishes need it but i've also been using the mario bendescu drying lotion again not focusing i'm just gonna hold it next to my head because that seems to be what helps hmm yeah so i hope you enjoyed this close-up of my face but you stick a cotton bud in this once all of the liquid has settled it's looking a bit cloudy right now but that all goes clear here and then it just settles at the bottom you stick a cotton bud in the little sandy bit and then pop it on your spots i might pop it on that one because that one will go very quickly and it just really helps them like dry up and it's amazing so yeah i've been using that which is an old favorite of mine and this oil which makes my skin feel amazing and hopefully i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and this is all gonna look so much better because it already looks so much better from afar. Those are old, like they're literally flat, but just so scarred. So I will be using my lactic acid peel, but only once these have cleared up. I think I'm just gonna try retinol and lactic acid peels once my skin is blemish free, because I feel like it's just not helping when I actually have blemishes. So I'm gonna give that a go. I'm already for bed now. I have had my cup of tea. I hope you guys enjoyed this homey vlog and you enjoyed seeing the home updates and my new lemon tree. I'm so excited. I gave them all a good water earlier and hopefully they grow and I don't kill them. Fingers crossed. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.